I'm going to multiply 139 by 139. First of all, I'm going to multiply by the 9. 9 times 9 is 81. I'm going to mark a small 8 down there as a note. 9 times 3, well it's actually 9 times 30, but it's 3 tens. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 plus the 8 is 35. 9 times 1, actually 100, is 900. 9 plus 3 is 1,200. Now I'm going to leave a bit of space so I don't write over those notes. And I'm going to multiply by 30. Because I'm multiplying by 30, I'm going to put a 0 and then put in the digits that I calculate. So 3 times 9 is 27. So I'm going to put the 7 in and carry the 2. Now just to clarify that, that's 30 times 9 is 270. I've written the 270 in a way that allows me to carry this 2. So that was 30 times 9. Now we've got 30 times 30. 3 times 3 is 9. That's going to be 9 plus the 2 I had before is 11. Now we've got 30 times 100, which is 3,000, so it's in the 3, 000, 3 in the 1,000 column. I've got plus 1, which is 4. So just to clarify, these numbers here are notes. They are notes, so we won't be adding them in our final column addition. Now we're multiplying by the 100. Now this is easy to do. When you multiply a number by 100, you move the digits two places to the left and add two zeros as place markers. So 139 is going to have two zeros and then the 139. 139. Now it's really important to keep our place value, keep our digits lined up in this. Much easier on squared paper. So we've got 1, a 0, a 0. 5 tens add 7 tens is 12 tens. Again, we're going to carry. 200 plus 100 is 300 plus 900 is 1200 plus 1 is 1300 or 1300 carrying the 1 and 4 plus 3 plus 1 is 8 plus the 1 is 9 and then we've got a 1 there so our answer is 19,321